I want to discuss something that's very important and it's mixed up in the field a lot, way too often. And that's minimum circuit opacity versus maximum overcurrent protection. So we're going to look on this data tag here. And this says the maximum fuse amps or the maximum circuit breaker size is 20 on this unit. That's also called maximum overcurrent protection because current is the flow of electrons. Maximum is, means no larger than. So right here on this unit, it says the maximum fuse amps or maximum circuit breaker size is 20. That means the largest possible fuse we could use for this unit would be 20 amps. Could we use something smaller? Yes, but we cannot go larger than 20. So here I have a pullout fusible disconnect. This is for this unit right here. And if I read on here, it has a bunch of numbers, but at the end it says over here, it says 20. So this one is rated correctly. I have a 20 amp fuse, and here it says maximum of 20. If I read on here, I gotta check both fuses though, because we can't ever assume. So I'm gonna turn this where we can see both of them together. And if we look on here, we can see that both of these fuses are rated for 20 amps. So this is what we want. The next thing is where it says minimum circuit ampacity. So it says here, minimum circuit amps, ampacity and amps, minimum. So that's the smallest amount of amps is gonna be for 12.2. This is used to size the wire. So there's a app called um, Wire Size Calculator. And what you do is you put in the minimum circuit ampacity. In other words, we're gonna put 12.2 and you're gonna to have to put the distance of wire. So we're gonna to have to calculate how much wire or how many feet of wire goes from this unit right here all the way to the main breaker panel. And if we can use this number with that to find the minimum size wire. That app will tell you what size wire to use. That's the minimum. Can you go larger? Can you use a thicker wire? Yes, it just costs more money, but you absolutely can. So we size wire with the minimum circuit opacity with the distance of the wire. That's gonna give us our wire size. It's very important for an AC technician to be checking that. I've seen a lot of times where the wire size is too small. Too big is great, but being too small, you're gonna to have to have an electrician come out and resize that. We're responsible only up to that disconnect box. Anything beyond that disconnect box is the responsibility of the electrician. That is their profession. Uh, we have our profession. We wanna keep those separate. Then I wanna also make sure the fuse is good, where it says maximum fuse size, and in this case it's 20. I wanna make sure I don't go any larger than that. So I wanna make sure in this case our fusible disconnect is at 20. Some cases you have disconnects that are non-fused, then you need to go all the way back to that main breaker, and that main breaker cannot be any larger in this case than the 20 that's rated right there. Very important, maximum fuse size versus minimum amperage for wire sizing with the distance. And the app I use is Wire Size Calculator. It looks like a little calculator, it's gold, it says wire in it. I would show you on my phone, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, we're gonna go of an example of how to find that minimum wire size. I'm going to go to my, uh, my HVAC folder, AC wire size calculator. We're going to click on this. It's going to pull up. We're going to be working with copper wire. Uh, it's going to be single face. And we're going to set for 240 volts. Uh, the minimum circuit opacity we had was 12.2. So I'm going to enter that 12.2. And the length of wire I have here, let's say it's 10 foot wire. We did a 14 gauge wire. But what if we had a longer wire? Let's say it was 40 feet. It would still be, uh, it would still be 14 gauge. Let's say if we had 50 feet. Let's say if we had 100 feet, if we had 100 foot of wire, that would drop down to a number 12 gauge. So this is an example how to use the length of the wire with the minimum circuit opacity to find out your smallest wire size possible. Let's though give an example. Uh, let's go back to, let's say, 40 feet of wire. And let's say we had 25 amps. Now we have to have a 10 gauge wire, American wire gauge. Uh, let's see if we increase that to, say, 60 foot of wire. Still be a number 10. Let's say 70 foot of wire, the same. Say 100 foot of wire, still going to be the same. So let's give another example. Let's say we had a unit that pulled 45 amps. 50 foot, we did a number 6 gauge wire. Let's see if we had um, maybe 10 foot of wire, still going to be the same. 100 foot of wire, still going to be the same. So for these examples I had, we have the same regardless of the distance. But it gives you an idea how to find out what the minimum wire size is. Now you're going to need to look at the wire itself to see what size wire that is to make sure it's, it's going to be big enough.